everyone welcome back to my channel so I thought today we'd just do like a really simple spring summery kind of look that's really wearable elf illuminator primer I love this one I've been using it for years and I've used it on lots of different skin types and stuff like that too and it just seems to last really well so in the summer like I don't know just when I go out and stuff I don't like to have really fussy makeup and I don't like to have too much on either because you just get really sweaty and your pores get blocked and it's really goopy and gross so this primer is everything because it's going to help us stay hydrated it's going to stop foundation from like going into our creases and into our pores and have a really nice barrier in between our skin and our makeup and also longevity long lasting so this primer is the best Okay, so we'll pop this on. This is a medium coverage, so not too cakey um, and not too thin either. So, you know your um, setting spray, whatever one you're into. Um, I use the e.l.f. one. So, if you spray that onto your beauty blender first, that's going to help your foundation stick and stay on longer. So, thank the makeup gods for that. And I'm just taking it down the neck. Especially with a um, top that's quite low, which is quite common in the summer or winter. Um, take it right down over the decolletage so that you're nice and well blended. I'm just going to contour because I can't fucking help myself. Um, yeah, I mean shit, it's only like a couple of steps, doesn't take long. So going on the darker shade, bit of contour. So I'm not doing it um like plastic surgeon sculpting kind of contour. Just really you want it to look kind of natural and balmy. Just apply it really thinly, like a veil of powder. Because um, again, if you cake it up and like bake it and all this sort of thing, you're going to end up with like a concrete kind of effect. I'm going to stay super hydrated and a bit of chapstick. Mmm, okay. look at those foundation lips. Now I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. bronzer. It's in um, golden bronze. It's got like four kind of colours here, which I really love because you can get quite a few products out of this. Like we might do the eye look with this. So I use this one here as a highlighter, this one is a blush and these two as bronzers but they're also really nice crease colours. So things like this are great for like if you're going on holiday or just packing in your bag in the summer because you can basically get four different products out of it. Love it. My bronzer, I'm just going to sweep diagonal and pick up those two colours. Don't 
for the eyeshadow base. I'm going to use the highlight colour in this little quad. I'm just going to blush with this Too Faced Tarte Blush. This one here is the colour Candy Glow. I am fucking obsessed with these. But I also found the dupes for it, which are like, not identical, but similar, and about a third of the price. Going in with that colour, and I'm just going to keep the blush just stuff on the apples. Just keep it really cute and punchy. Now I'm just going to take the same blush colour that we've used for this look and I'm just going to swirl it through all the colours on my fluffy eye brush and just pop Now I'm just taking that highlight colour from the quad, it's like a golden champagne colour, quite shimmery. I'm just taking that on an eye brush, that one, and I'm just going to take that from the inner corner over the lid, not going any higher than the crease. I'm going to use my New Skin New Colours mascara. This one here is great um, because it doesn't sweat off and crease and you don't get smudging everywhere. So that's great for summer. I also really love the brush. It's slightly curved, so it just makes it so much easier. one coat and I might actually just do it on one eye to begin with to show you guys the difference For the third coat, I'm rolling my brush downward to make sure that the top is nice and coated. And then push back up. So I just have three coats of the New Skin New Colours Mascara on this eye. So I love it. And it's smudge proof as well. Which is great. <laughs> Right, let's do the other eye because I feel totally weird. This mascara wand is also perfect to do the bottom lashes. Um, because of the curve, you can just get in underneath and just wobble it gently. So, I love it. Especially because I don't have many lashes. So I have to be really careful not to push too hard and to push directly onto the skin, making a big smudge. So... So I'm just going to go in with the same highlight shade from this little elf kit thingy. Um, I'm actually just going to take this brush which is a little bit more dense and um, that way I can just be a little bit more buildable and aggressive with the highlight instead of all fairy and wispy and just let it fall everywhere. I'm just going to wear a lip gloss today, I'm not going to do like a full on lipstick, um, just find it too cakey in this weather and blah blah blah. 
you know the story so because I'm wearing like a light pastel color I find that it kind of blends into my skin tone a little bit so I am going to use a liner um, this one here is the Kylie Jenner Mandy K one and I'm not overlining a whole lot I'm not it's not dramatic I love this product, this one here is from Posty Plus um, and it was like $3.50 or something like that and I love the colour and the formula, like my friend talked me into buying it, she was like oh it's a dupe for um, OCC lip tars and I kind of was a bit like eh, um, but I do love it, I really do, especially for the price, um, you have to top up a little bit more than you would with say a higher end one but hey who cares, it's all good, let me take you a few minutes. Well, seconds. So I'm not really fussing with the hair a lot because I find that with the humidity and the weather and everything like that, there's just no point in setting it and anything like that. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and just curl the tips a little bit, just to give it a wee bit of a style, it looks a bit more healthy. So yeah, it just gives it a wee bit of shape, makes your silhouette look cuter. And I find also if you're not doing anything with your hair really, um, a cute little hair clip or accessory can make all the difference, like a wee bow, even a bit of ribbon. To not go wrong with a satin bow. Yeah, and I find that just picking up all these little wispies and just curling them around just makes all the difference. And like even these little ones out the back and stuff. And then I'm just going to pick up a few bits like this that are sticking out and just create a wee bit of texture. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's just a very fuss free beachy spring look. I hope you like this look and I hope you like this video and if you did like this video guess what a thumbs up and subscribe <laughs> and thank you so much for watching it means the world.